Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a page inside of this book here on the other side of the dream by Carolina Co... Yeah, there's a name. <laughs> We're going to do this one here. Kind of a foxy little guy here. So we're going to, um, well, we're going to do it in distress ink. So bing, 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 <laughs> bing, bing. Some colors and some little sticks and a mixing tool here. And we're just going to do it in distress ink because I'm dying to do one of these pages in Distress Ink. So there we go. We're going to start off with a little bit of the um, Wild Honey, which is going to give us kind of that um, soft honey color underneath the fur, so base coat. Um, I'd probably use a bigger one, so we'll just get one out. So we're going to tackle that onto one side of the um, tool and you'll notice there's a darker ring just around the edge. We went to get a little of that off and that way we'll have a softer brush here. And I'm going to put it down kind of in this area here. Okay. We're using that edge for a line and bringing it down. We're going to put a lot of color on this, so we'll be mixing lighter portions here. A little on the forehead. Missing the jewel there. Down the nose. We go and around to this side. Get a nice dark, deep color there and put it there. There we go. A little bit right in there. Okay, so far. That's what we have. Well, we could put a little down in his fur down in here. Boom. All right. We're going to grab a little um, tea dye. I'm not exactly sure what color. It's kind of tan. <laughs> We're going to use the same tool. Go in and pick some of that up and pull it down into some areas here too. So how is everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Just going to run it right up this line here. Turning my wrist while I do it so that the uh, color that's on here just runs around that line. And then a little up here. Okay. A little down in here. And a little here by his nose. Blend that up a little bit. Okay, maybe just a touch in here. Next color, we're going to go in with, I think, a little of the brushed corduroy. And for this, I'm going to get the littler tool, just so I can get it into smaller shapes, more smaller areas, like back in here. And darken up these areas. Around his eye. Okay. 
and just kind of blend it out into the other areas. these little lines here. just where it's darker and don't forget down in here a little bit under his mouth here a little on both sides it's looking kind of cool okay We'll get a little vintage photo, which is going to give us a red, redder tint to his coloration. Let's see what color's on here. Get rid of that one. Go in here. There we go. Okay, we'll add this in in certain areas. pick up some of that reddish color. going over that. Starting up his ears a little bit here. A little that in his eye. On that side. Okay. We're going to go back to the tool here. We're going to take a little of the gathered twigs. get that on there and I'm going to pull it up into the tree area. I have a tree going somewhere up here. Just pull it up into that area. going to blend it out. So we'll get it into that area and just pull it out. Doing that all the way around. Here in the front, 
and just kind of bringing it out. Okay, it's good for that. <laughs> We're going to bring in a little um, aged mahogany, which is also going to be a red color. We're going to take it with a little stick and we're going to dab in some of this to kind of brighten up some areas. A little in his eye. Put a little in that little gem thingy up there too. Then throw some of that down in here. are going to get a little black, the black sip, clear up his nose, get a little of that red in there, then just darken it, darken the mouth area right there, gonna darken under his eye, In those areas. Darken the fur line here. this in up here in this area. Just go ahead and use the brown sponge. Get it all on one side and just take it in and around our tree area here. Let's darken that up a little bit. Some blues, then we're going to go in with these. Uh, Chip Fire is a really deep dark blue, and Prize Driven is the new one. So we're going to use that. The um, Prize Driven has this awesome color here, and I'll do the Chip Sapphire after. We're just going to put it in the background. So we're going to go up here. Outline our little dude. So I got that corner and I'm just going up that line where his ear is and fluffing it out a little bit. Okay, Let's go in between our branches and kind of pull it out. I'm using a very soft motion here so I don't get too much 
of the jagged pieces. I will get some. I'm going to put a paper behind here too. Find a paper. <laughs> I want a piece of paper. Let go. Since this is all wet ink, let's stick that in there. Okay. So we're going to pull it over on this side too. Pull it right into that brown. And all the way to the edge. Okay, you can go all the way around. And you can see the bottom of the page. If you get some of these little lines, it's okay. We're going to go over it with the other color and we're going to be blending this in. We're going to go up in here. Touch a little blue into that too. Okay. I'm going to kind of go around the front. I can even move this stuff so I can get over there. Make sure I don't have any blue on my hand. And I'm going to go around his snout, his eye, this area around here. Pull it out. So when I go around in here, I have a line. I don't want to go on his fur. And we're just going to pull it out and make a big old mess. Okay, go all the way to the top and bring it down. over here <laughs> go around the top. I think I'll leave this down here for a different color but we're going to bring a tiny bit of that blue into this area. No I am not concerned about any of that blotchiness because we're going to go in with another color and we're going to cover it up or we're going to put water on it and make it even more blotchy depending on my mood. <laughs> okay, chip sapphire. This is a really deep, deep, gorgeous, gorgeous color. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, and we're going to bring it in around the edges and wherever we want. And yes, I'm using the same ink pad. So on this ink pad, I have both colors. And you can actually go in, as long as you remember which side is what, and pick up both colors at the same time and blend them together. I like to make it a little more blotchy, so I'm just going to go with the one. Okay, you can put it down over here.
Ah, get it all on my finger. Now I have to be real careful. <laughs> okay. Washcloth, washcloth. Get it off my hand. Okay, we're going to see if we can get this to splatter. We're just going to take a little water here. Put it on. And lift it up. And you get that cool effect that I love. I'm going to put that piece of paper back under here. Do it up here. We try not to get it too much on our little wolfie because her foxy, whatever you want to call him, our little critter. He's also done in distress ink and we don't really want to get him. Don't mind getting the tree though. Just gives us that awesome effect. Sometimes if you leave it on longer it'll take up more. It depends really on the paper. Sometimes I have put it on and wiped it right up and lifted all the ink off. <laughs> and other times I let it soak in. You'll get a different um, look every time you do that. But that is the background I am going for. I think we'll throw a little bit of the um, aged mahogany down here. So I'm just going to pick it up with this one. There we go. These are berries, so we'll put a little red down here. I also have to be a little careful because I wet the page. And if you put distress ink on top of water, it does a totally different thing. And I don't want it to do that. So I'm just going to throw a little red down there. And if we have a little of the brownish color here too. There. That's cool. I need to find my lid for this one. We're going to wet that also. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Love how that one picks up. There we go. Okay, I am going to let all of this dry. Then I'm going to come back in with some pencils and do a little detail work on the little dude here. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we should all be nice and dry here. I'm going to pull in some polychromos. Uh, they're always on my desk, so the ones I grab for. They're also kind of a transparent uh, pencil and go really nicely with the um, distress ink. So I pull out all of my browns. Boom! <laughs> with a little reddish one here. So we're going to add some detail. And I need the black. We need to go around the eye here. So. We'll start off with the black. I think I'll get you down so you can see a little bit closer what I'm doing here. Do there. Because we want to get in here on the black area. This is the eye here. I'm going to blend that up into the ink. Okay, the eye comes around here and here. This eye over here and here. <laughs> okay. We're going to bring the pupil up to the top up here. Bring some of those lines out here.
and darken the bottom because it shades it and makes it look round. We're going to bring in a little bit of um, burnt sienna and darken that color up a little bit. And also up in this area up here. Okay, darken the pupil on this side. there. All right, if we need any white, we'll bring in a purple white. Dust off the dust. And we could bring some of that in. nose a little bit. Got black here, black here, black that comes down, line that comes up, <laughs> line that comes around. Line that comes down and around his mouth. Darken all that up. I kind of want them still kind of sketchy. I don't want to go in with too much fur here. I want the integrity of the picture. I think it is really cool. I'm going to put a little more darkness in here though. Okay, we'll go in with the Burnt Sienna again. Uh, just a little more red in here. Got a little blue. And this is more of a fluff going on here. So we're going to add in, I'm sorry, what is this one? Raw umber. Keeping in the lines here. is wiggling. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Shouldn't be wiggling. Hold on. OK, 
Okay, and then on the other ear, we're going to darken in here. bit of a turn so I can get the pencil going this way. Easier for me. here. Just darken a few of these areas. bit of um, brown ochre. Kind of do the same thing, go over all these lines. Darken up this part of the tree that comes out. Maybe add a little, a few wrinkles in it. Same up here. We'll just add a little color and bring it up. little branch here. Just wherever you feel like adding a little bit of color. Ok, 
Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more white over here. Just lighten that up. hair in there. Okay. Go over a tad of those little white pieces just to make them blend in a little bit better. I'll have to wait for it to dry though. I think he's about done here. Just going to try to figure out this nose a little better. Put a little definition in these berries, I think. So I'm just going to grab some red violet and darken up one side of those. Gem. Yeah. 
throw a little of that in the eye too. Just a touch of white to bring that to life a little bit. There. I don't know about you, but I kind of like that. <laughs> so, there we go. One quick little picture done. Just a little bit of red in here, too. Okay, <laughs> what I'll do is at the end of the video, take a picture of it and uh, show you what it looks like. All done. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye now.